Hey, this is Doug with Design 8 Studio, and I'm about to run my last bit of test cuts on the beta version of the Lowrider 4 before I tear it down and rebuild it as a Release Candidate 2 version. So I've already programmed in three test cut rectangles to be pocketed out. One of them at 100 millimeters per second feed rate, 12 millimeter depth of cut. One of them at 125 millimeters per second feed rate, 12 millimeter depth of cut. And a final one at 150 millimeters per second with a 12 millimeter depth of cut. My test rectangles are not 100 by 100 but they do equal 10,000 millimeters squared. They're wider than they are tall. This tests the X stepper more than the two Y steppers. Uh, they're 142.8 millimeters wide by 70 millimeters tall. And again, that equals the same uh, square footage as doing a 100 by 100 test. I'm using a brand new quarter inch one flute upcut end mill bought from V1 Engineering. It's a carbide. Um, end mill. I've got my cobalt router set at number three on the dial, which is 17,000 RPM. 90 degree straight in plunges with plunge rates of 48.8 millimeters per second for the 100 millimeter per second feed rate test, bumping it up to a plunge rate of 49.7 for the 125 millimeter per second test and a plunge rate of 48.5 millimeters per second for the final 150 millimeter per second test. All, on all of these tests, my step over is at 50%, and I use G-Wizard calculator tool to verify my feed rates, plunge rates, and acceptable deflection rates. Because this is a beta, I don't yet have dust collection on this, and if I did have dust collection, you wouldn't be able to see the bit uh, at work in the MDF. And so I'm going to put a respirator mask on and follow this around with a shop vac tip in my hand trying to catch what is about to be a mountain of MDF uh, shavings headed up into the air. I've already homed to the material and we're ready to start the test. Give me just a second to put my mask on, my respirator mask, and turn the shot back on.